These people kind of pitch the life to criticize the man that tries his hardest will that will survive this life so happily. What's up guys, it's your boy Christian here back at you with a brand new outfit challenge video. You guys have been loving the outfit challenges on the channel, so we're doing another one today and today is going to be the $200 PacSun outfit challenge. Now, we don't actually have PacSun in Canada. We just don't have them, they don't exist. I wish they did. I would love to have a PacSun in Canada. PacSun, please come to Canada. So today, we're gonna go a little splurgy today. We're gonna pretend you know we have a $200 birthday budget, so if you got $200 for your birthday or for any occasion, these are some of the options you can get at PacSun. And uh, yeah, with that said, let's get inside. So we're at the PacSun right now, and as you guys can tell, there's a lot of clothing options to choose from, but you guys know what every outfit has to start off with, the sneakers. <laughs> Here is a look at their sneaker wall and it looks like they have a lot of really good selection and there's also a bunch of stuff on sale too. So let's take a look at some of the stuff not on sale first and then let's go to the sales. These just came out not too long ago, the Adidas EQT Basket Advance. They also got the Pro Fears in a few different colorways here. They got the black colorway here. This really reminds me of the Pirate Black V1 Yeezys. EQT Support Advance with places like Tommy Hilfiger Vibe, Triple White Adidas d -Rub. The rest of the Adidas footwear that they have, nothing I'm too too crazy about. We did do an outfit with these before in the past so I don't want to do a repeat of that outfit to be honest with you. The van selection is really really good. We got skate highs over here. Ooh, these look dope. Checkered van skate highs. I might have to grab these for the outfit. They also got them in the black and gray colorway too. What is that? There's like some weird mark on the back. I don't even want to say. Red checkered vans old schools and I actually have these back at home. I think I'm gonna go with these just because it's gonna allow me to have a very versatile outfit. I can pretty much get any color stuff I want so Checkered vans, let's see if they have my size. Wondering if you guys had these in a size 9.5. Okay. I feel like with the amount of budget we have left, I'll be able to pull off two outfits. So I think we're gonna make two outfits and I'll let you guys decide which one you like better. The sales section, the sales section looks really, really good today. They have a lot of variety in terms of shirts and the hoodies too. So uh, yeah, we're gonna have to run through some of this and I'll show you guys some of my favorites. I actually really like this tough shirt. It's a shame they don't have it in my size. This looks pretty dope. It's this white Paxum brand hoodie. It's got these Roy's, Roy's, it's got the the roses like stitched into the side which is pretty dope as well. A little duddy there so we're gonna pass on this one but it's a pretty dope piece overall. They got this black hoodie as well with the same sort of design but this time the roses are white and on the hoodie there's also some extra embroidery. No stains or defects on this one. They do have my size medium. Very happy about this so this would be part of one of the outfits. One of my favorite things that Paxson has is the graphic t-shirts so let's take a look. So being the anime freak and lover of Japanese culture that I am, I'm probably going to lean towards one of these like shirts with Japanese on it. We got this Transformer t-shirt which looks pretty dope. Dragon Ball Z shirt as well with Goku and Vegeta having at it. We also got some Monster Truck shirts underneath. We got some PlayStation shirts. Where's the Xbox shirts fam? Where's the Xbox shirts? They got shirts with like this S logo embroidered into it. This straight up reminds me of elementary school and junior high, how everybody thought they were cool if they could do this on their like notebooks and stuff. And then there's also a really big selection of Huff t-shirts, Diamond Supply Co, Early, The Hundreds, all these streetwear and skate brands. Paxson has most of it. With that being said, they only have one shirt left for this Dragon Ball Z shirt and it's size large and there's like the stain on it. Oh. This right here is really dope. I had no idea that PacSun and Coca-Cola did a collection. Coca-Cola hoodie right here. Enjoy on the front. We got this Coca-Cola branding on the side. They even got the matching pants too. Okay. And then they even got shorts for the summer. And they even have this shirt too, which is pretty dope. You can bust this out on vacation. Coke Zero vibes with this black and white Coca-Cola hoodie. PacSun also has a wide selection of guest originals right here. We got the t-shirts with the logo in green. We got it in this beige color. We also got some long sleeve shirts here too, which I was not expecting. Pretty dope. Pretty Dope. We got the tops figured out for both of the outfits. Now let's go through the denim and see what's good. Mm. 
Looking through the denim right now, and first thing that caught my eye was this blue denim right here with these rose patches. I ideally would like to find a pair of distressed black denim, but it doesn't look like they really have much. They do have distressed denim in the other colors though, so that might be a go-to. Oh my gosh, these pants are pretty wild. They got this floral print all over the denim. I don't think I can pull this one off. So here's the grand total. We have 150, and the sneakers were $25. I was not expecting them to be that cheap, so we're gonna grab another colorway of them for the outfits. And we're gonna see what all of this looks like when we get back home. Back here at Tim's house, and now I'm gonna get to show you guys the outfit. We ended up spending a grand total of $172.03. What does that get you? That gets you two full outfits. We got two pairs of sneakers, two tops, and a bottom. And if I really wanted to spend an extra $25 and make it a grand total of about $200, I could have got two pants because all the pants at PacSun were buy one, get one half price. So I'll start off with the pants. So for the pants, we went with this black stacked skinny PacSun denim. It is super clean, there's no distressing on it at all. It's just all black, no branding on the back as well. Super simple. And unfortunately, I couldn't find any black distressed denim, but they did have lighter shades with distressing on them. So I went with this black pair right here. It feels really good on body. It's quite stretchy. It might be a little bit too skinny for some people. I was trying to find the least skinny pair of black jeans they had. And even if I tried to do that, this is still a skinny pair. Like I couldn't find like a slim taper or anything like that. So if you're into skinny jeans or jeans that stack really well by the shoes, then you might like PacSun denim. Now the denim was $49.95 with buy one get one half price. But as I mentioned, we only picked up one pair of denim because I don't need any more PacSun denim. With that said, if you guys want to see the four or $500 Hype Beast outfit challenge, I did do one in Las Vegas. I'll leave a link down below. We got some denim from PacSun and we're also giving away the pants from that video. So for this video, I want you guys to comment down below with which outfit you guys like more? The first outfit or the second outfit? The first outfit features this green Guess Originals logo tee. You guys have probably seen this tee thousands and thousands of times on Instagram and just in general because it's quite a popular shirt. The retail price of Paxson for this is $39. It's gonna go well with black and white fits. You can even wear it with light blue denim like this or the black denim like I picked up at Paxson. The shirt is size medium and if it's true to size. And for the sneakers, we went with a pair of Vans right here and the Vans we got for an absolute steal. We paid $25 plus tax. They were on sale and then they had extra discounts on top of it. So they are the checkered van skate high. And uh, this print is really cool because not only are there checkers on the upper of the shoe, but they also have checkers on the midsole, which is something you don't see too often. And if you guys haven't seen yet, Vance is actually releasing a pack of sneakers with like a flame on the midsole. Looking forward to that. But regardless, $25 for these was a no-brainer and definitely helped to keep the budget low for this outfit challenge. Now let's throw it all together for the full outfit. On to the second outfit and we're gonna start off with the sneakers first and this time we got another pair of Vans and can you guys guess how much we paid? We paid $25, yes. PacSun with the crazy saving on Vans. Very happy with this pair. Once again, we got a pair of Vans Skate High with the checkered print, but this time it's in a black and gray colorway. You guys can see that checkered print all over the upper of the shoe. And just like the last Skate High I showed you guys, there's also that checkered print on the midsole as well. For $25, this is honestly a no brainer. If you can find Vans Skate Highs in any colorways that you like for like under $30, I feel like you should just pull the trigger on them. I like these sneakers a lot and they also sort of give off like a luxury high fashion kind of look if you pull it together with the right outfit. I actually just bought a pair of Gucci high top sneakers and they really give off the same kind of vibe. And now for the top. For the top, we got a hoodie, but I just want to note that there is some green accents on the hoodie. So if you choose to wear this green guest shirt underneath it, you're gonna have a nice little pop of color underneath the hoodie neckline. So let's get to the hoodie for this outfit. And this hoodie was actually cheaper than the guest shirt. We got the hoodie on sale for $25, regularly priced at 50. So we went to the back of the store, the clearance racks, and they had some steals. They had a hoodie just like this in the front of the store with a gray colorway, and the embroidery was in different places for full price. So I was like, nah, screw that. Let's get it for half price in the color that I like more. So the hoodie is black all over and then there's some extra flower embroidery on the left and right sleeve It's a really nice detail and there's also some flower embroidery on the back of the hood too Which is a nice detail surprisingly the quality is pretty decent and it fit me really well This is size medium and it's PacSun's in-house brand Which is pretty surprising because you don't really expect quality pieces coming from the house brands But PacSun actually did a pretty solid job on this piece. So good job PacSun So now let's put the full outfit together and show you guys what it looks like 
tryna pull me back, right? I'm a junk at the pump and in the club, it's on I'm with my eye at the chick, too, she smash the go In the pool for five, man, just let it burn Talking about money, homie, I ain't concerned I'ma take you a bank, told me, cause go ahead, switch the style up in the thing so there you guys go, you've seen both of the outfits for today's $300 Paxson Outfit Challenge. If you did make it to the end of the video, let me know by commenting down below which outfit you guys like better. The first one with the guest t-shirt or the second one with the Paxson hoodie. And also, we're going to run a giveaway for the sneakers in this video. Just comment down below which outfit you guys like better and which sneaker you guys want out of the two. Now, the white checkered vans are a size 10.5 and the black charcoal ones here are size 10. So keep that in mind and if you want to give them away to a friend or sell them or gift them to somebody you can do that too because I know not everybody is a size 10 or size 10.5 but other than that make sure you hit that thumbs up button down below subscribe to the channel if you're new and of course hit that bell hit that bell it would mean a lot to me and I'll catch you guys in the next video peace